G'day guys, how's it going? My name's Max from League of Earthlings. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rain. So in the last episode, it was a bit of a shocker really. There was a, uh, a good looking Sheila. And uh, yeah, she was in her flat and stuff. And she decided, well I was controlling her, but uh, she ended up having a shower. And uh, yeah, we saw all her lady bits. Um, so yeah, this game is going up in my uh, estimation. So, right, we're back uh, to the next uh, mission. It's called Paparazzi. Hers, Ethan, he's having a bad time at the minute, isn't he? And he hasn't even had a shave. Oh dear. Hey guys, uh, just a little apology. If I do have a few voice breaks, um, I've actually got a chest infection. Don't know how the bloody hell I got that. Um, but yeah, I'm not hitting puberty or nothing like that. It's just, uh, yeah, all my tits are all bunged up. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get rid of that uh, bloody chest infection soon. So if I do a bit of coughing, I do apologise, guys. But uh, I think compared to, uh, what's his name, Ethan, uh, my problems aren't that big, really. Right, okay, let's have a little look. Here we go. Just going to read this letter. So obviously he's lost both his children, uh, which is terrible really, and he's having a bit of a shit time at the minute. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Right, okay, we'll do the next, uh, what's he doing? Oh, he's putting it back. Oh, there's something else in it. Right, so that was a locker ticket? I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Yeah. Right, okay, let's do that. Right, it's it's half seven. That's obviously very important. Right, so we're going to get out of here and go and see what this ticket's about. Oh God, we swerved the door. These controls are uh, fiddly. Mr. Mars, Mr. Mars, a Mars. few words. Mr. Mars, goddamn reporters! Should've They've been the... camped outside my house all day. Go the back way. Uh, let's stay. And then we'll go to the back door. Where's the back door? It's usually at the back, isn't it? Yeah, let's go this way. Undercover, so to speak. Yeah, there we go. Beauty. He's still walking like C3PO. He needs to tend to his bloody garden as well. It's a bloody disgrace. Uh, right, okay. Uh, Jesus, where are we going here? How'd you get out of the bloody garden? It's the only thing, isn't it, with this bloody game? You can't see where you're bloody going. How'd you get out of this bloody garden? Oh, right, okay. Could he not have done that round on the up bit where I was? Right, let's try it. Oh, God. Right, okay. Right, so now we're uh, encased in another bloody garden. <laughs> right, we're trapped in somebody else's garden now. Jesus Christ, right. Yeah, so join us back in two years when we've uh, escaped the bloody garden. Oh God, right. Yeah, we'll get out in a minute, guys, I'm sure. Oh, what's going on here? Right, so there's, there's no bloody options yet. I just want to get to... You can't even see where you're meant to be bloody going. That's it, right. Uh, that's it. Keep going the right way. Yeah, that's... Oh, here we go. Right, okay. The way it showed you on the angle, I thought it was like 
opposite to where it was going. Right, sneak out. These gobshakes haven't even noticed me yet. Yeah, you guys just uh, occupy yourselves, nothing to see here. There we go, yeah. <laughs> They've never even noticed. They're uh, very observant journalists. Oh, right, okay. So is it like, was it train station or something? <laughs> oh, pardon me guys, I do apologise. I think it's the chest infection. It's giving me uh, bad windy pops. Oh. Right, okay. Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. Right. I can't, can't take crowds. No. Just can't handle it. D don't worry, calm down. It'll be fine. If they get on your nerves, just uh, roundhouse them, clothesline them, anything. No, he's not happy, is he? Lockers. The luggage lockers. They're on the other side of the station. Right. Uh, okay. No time to waste. I no. need to find out. I, I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Oh god, what's that? <sighs> Going on. Is he going to shit himself? What the bloody hell does he want me to do with the chummy pad? I think he's got diarrhea. Oh God. Get your inhaler. Oh no, that's the other bloke, isn't it? Come on, fella, you can hold this in. Don't shit yourself. You don't want it running down your leg. Right, I'm shaking the joy pit like there's no tomorrow. I think we got through it. Has he cracked himself? going on. Dad. Oh, this is a weird game. Dad. I don't like this. Oh, shit. Dad, where are you? Jason! Yeah, get out of the way. Just... Oh, God. Get over there to it. Jason! Oh god, he's gone. Dad! Jason! Dad! Jason! Oh man, this is bloody weird. Dad! Jason! Jason! Dad. It's like bloody Skittles. Jason! Dad! Jesus, right. Right. So we're at the luggage lockers. Uh, where are we going? I don't really see anything. 
We need to go in here. What's that saying? What was that sign then? X. Oh, you hold it. Line 18, box number 3. Right. That's where we need to go. Line 18. Line 18, box number 3. Okay. Uh... So just a bit further up here. Where the hell's 18? There's 19. Oh, right, here we go. 18. Right, number 3. in here is just going to be like a smelly old purr of speedos or something open it do it going to freak out again isn't he right so we're at some sort of little weird motel Let's get up. Let's see what's in this bloody box. Okay. Open it. I can't remember where he got that ticket from in the first place. Some uh, origami stuff, a gun, a phone. Uh, let's see. Was that meant to be some sort of animal or something? Are you prepared to show courage to save your son, Joe's garage and parking lot? Jesus. Right, so someone's obviously got him and he's still alive. to go to say oh my god five hundred army figures each figure is a trial each trial provides letters the letters reveal an address right okay get the bloody gun yeah Uh, right. Yeah, put it under the bed. Yeah, let's go. I tell you what, this bloody gun gets you going. It's proper suspense, isn't it? Right, let's go. Uh, 
let's get this kid back. Right, we've unlocked a new bonus. So it looks like we're about to get back to this uh, FBI guy, uh, Agent Jaden. Right, you've earned a trophy, VIP. Beauty. Oh, you've earned a lucky locker. Jesus. The killer is white. Aged between 30 and 45, he doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims, that, that's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts, to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Uh, what should we do? Uh... Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where this he lives, guy, so he has a safe place to flee to if is. any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. Yeah, tell him. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. Oh, I what see, right, does that okay. Mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Right, let's knock shit out of him. Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. Yeah, he kill said him. it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Right, okay. So we've gone to arrest this uh, suspect, uh, and this fella's been a bit of a dickhead. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Right, we're going in. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Yeah, I, I don't think he gives a shit. Call the cops. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that guy. There's something about him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Literally. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. 
He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. <laughs> Real twisted. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. Right. Uh, is there anything else we can do around here? He's only got one bloody room. through here. Alright. Jesus Christ. So he's, he's just uh, demolishing the flat. He's got a lot of uh, medication and stuff. Anything down here? Jesus, bit of a weird place. Oh God, what's going on here? Yeah, it's a bit of a... Uh, crazy place, isn't it? Ah, oh, right, here he comes. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Uh, right. Uh... Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Jesus. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Uh, occupation? Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Jesus. Uh, crucifixes. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. That's not good. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Is it Donald Trump? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. Blake! He what orders are you, doing? you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Yeah, it's Donald Trump. 
He told you to go and find that kid in the park. That's enough. The voice Leave him alone. You all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. Stop. Oh, he's That's gonna enough. send him over the edge here. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't Carter, that right? Shit! Are you out of your mind? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Ooh. Bloody hell. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot us. Yeah, shoot him. For Go Christ's on. sake, shoot! Uh... Drop the gun, now! Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To give rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all right. the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Uh, let's say calm down. Try Keep that. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. All right. I think we go back off. Back away. Slowly. Tried to give him a chance, but uh, he's not doing it, is he? Or maybe he is. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Yeah, come on. That's it. Put it down. Beauty. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. Put the cuffs on him. I... Oh god, I shot him. I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. It was only a crucifix. <laughs> oh dear. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. That wasn't very good police work, was it? Who's going to polish all his crucifixes now? Bloody hell. That was a bit intense, wasn't it? Right, so it looks like we're back with this uh, private uh, investigator. What was his name? Uh, Shelby or something like that? So I think what we'll do, guys... Ah, uh, oh, we've earned another trophy. Blunder, yeah, that sounds about right for me. Um, yeah, so we're back with Shelby. So I think what we'll do is... We will leave it there for this episode. And... I think we'll set it up for Shelby next time. So, until next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, it was a bit tense, wasn't it? Bloody hell. But, uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Take it easy, and I will see you soon. Cheers, guys.